What's up, y'all? This is Mr. Jam Horizon, here to whisper sweet nothings to you about a new Netflix film called The Colony. I was sold on this feature when browsing through, because it looked like some visually neat sci-fi, and I'm always into that. Unfortunately, the movie went from okay to irritating to generally irredeemable. It starts out fine. More than fine, actually. The premise is that three generations ago, climate catastrophe ruined the Earth, so the 1%, those dastardly rich bastards, left to colonize another system. However, for reasons the movie doesn't explain, or maybe it did and I just forgot, that's completely possible, nobody can get pregnant. Nobody on the new colony can get pregnant. So they send a team to Earth to discover if it is habitable again or not, because on Earth, people will get pregnant again? Question mark? Uh, anyway, our main heroine, her father, is sent on the first team when she's just a little lassie and they are never heard from again. A decade or two later, Blake, our protagonist herself, goes on the next mission to see if Earth can support womb babies and to maybe, just maybe, if the script is predictable enough, see what happened to her pat pat. So that's your backdrop, people. The first part of the movie is essentially Waterworld, or Mad Max, but with just, like, a little bit of water. This section, when the movie is still keeping you guessing, is actually pretty good. The actors are all really natural, the production design is great, making you feel immensely cold and dirty, and the kineticism from location to location was holding my interest quite well. It's nice to see this, this civilization that they've created down on this planet. The second half, unfortunately, is an interminable slog through industrial environments. And the film gets completely bogged down with a ridiculously hammy, mustache-twirling villain plotline. This is also where the movie abandons all logic, and whatever themes it was going for get muddled into baby mush by the slam-hammer clumsiness of the script. It would take me way too long to set up why exactly this is, but trust me. Trust Mr. Jammo, it is a mess. Any attempts to deal with and or follow through on any genuine themes about climate change or the 1% or being subservient to groupthink or there's like this weird child grooming element to this movie that's really unnecessary and off-putting. None of it translates. And by the end, I felt like I was being held hostage by a movie that didn't like me. That's right, babies. The main bad guy grooms female children that he steals from the surrounding villages for the ostensible purpose of having breeding stock for when the colonists arrive. This premise is so weird that it could have worked in another movie, but the logic of it, when it's presented to you here, is so full of holes, and it just makes you feel bad for watching it. Yeah, I, uh, I did not like this movie. <laughs> By the time the attempted rape happened, which you felt like was coming, but hoped the movie wouldn't stoop to that level, I was done. I was checked out. It was lame, it was gross, and it was a cheap way of humanizing a main character who otherwise had no real personality or relatability, which is another point. And that's emblematic of this movie as a whole. It's a hollow husk of a premise. It's devoid of soul. It's well made on a technical level. There are some really cool shots, and I like the production design when it's not in full industrial mode. But the script is just so ill-considered, and the main character is so flat that there's just pretty much no reason to watch it. I'm trying to think of like a joke reason, you know? Mad Max meets Waterworld meets Interstellar meets a dumpster fire. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Cut the lights, Jimmy. We're out of here. That's The Colony on Netflix. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Uh, thanks for joining me, Mr. Jam Horizon. I'll see you all next time.